What's up guys, John Snyder here from Snyder Man Photography. And I know it's last minute, but I wanted to get everyone caught up on the space launch or uh, SpaceX rocket launch uh, that'll be going on tomorrow on Wednesday, September 15th at 8.02 p.m. I think is when the window opens up according to uh, KennedySpaceCenter.com. And so for those of us that aren't in the Florida area, you know, uh, we hear about these spaceship launches and we're kind of wondering, well, you know, which direction do I look to see this? Um, where can I go to, um, to watch it? Am I going to be able to see it? Um, well, I'm here to answer all of those questions and show you my way, um, very quick and easy way that I use Google Maps in order to pinpoint my location so that I have a game plan um, as to where it's going to be coming up at where I'm going to be able to see it and um, the best way to plan for that. And it's very quick and very easy. And I'm going to show you right now. So jumping right in, we can see that here on the Kennedy Space Center uh, dot com website, you can see the launch information here. And we can see that here in this area, um, we can see that the SpaceX rocket launch is going to be launching from Launchpad. 39a so what we want to do is we're going to jump on over to google maps so you'll just open up a google chrome or you know whatever web browser you're using um, and you'll go to google maps and this comes up with my location here so what we're going to do is we're going to find launchpad 39a in florida um, we know that it's east of Orlando. Cape Canaveral should be here. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll turn this layer on uh, for the satellite imaging so you can get kind of the colors. It's a little bit better than the, uh, the plain version. Um, so we see Kennedy Space Center here. And if you zoom in here, um, you've got the launch pad. And right here is 39A. So... Um, once we found Launchpad 39A, what we're going to do is we're going to left click on the mouse right on the launch pad, which is going to place a uh, pinpoint here. So it's going to show us that we're on SpaceX Launchpad 39A. So what we'll do is we'll hover over that pinpoint and we're going to right click on it. Um, and then this little menu is going to come up and we're going to go down to measure distance. So once we've done that, uh, we're going to pick our second location as to where basically where we're going to be watching from. So we're going to zoom out. Uh, to zoom out, you can either use your zoom tools over here. Um, if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can um, scroll backwards and forward to scroll in and out using that. It's a little bit easier. So uh, second location is going to be where we are. So if we come to the Myrtle Beach area and just anywhere in the Myrtle Beach area here, if you just place a marker here, um, it's going to draw a straight line and it's going to give you the distance. So when you zoom back out, you can see that that straight line comes from launch pad 39A to our location here um, in Myrtle Beach um, where we're able to, um, to watch from. So this is going to kind of give you the general idea of which direction you're going to need to look to see the um, the shuttle launch uh, when it comes up. So um, what you can do once you got that line there is you can zoom in to your area and say uh, for the video purposes and for the examples we're going to come down here we're going to drag this so what you'll do is you'll click uh, which is left click on that location and drag it and as you can see the line will change. So we're going to come a little bit south here and we're going to come right down to uh, Merle's Inlet area. And we're going to drag that dot right about there. So now we can see that we're in the Merle's Inlet area here. And we've got our um, location, say, we're going to be watching the shuttle launch from. So this shows us the general direction is basically going to be just over Veterans Pier and over the um, Crazy Sister Marina 
uh, looking to the south. So this is kind of going to be the general area that we're going to want to look um, at launch time. Um, typically, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute is normally when it breaks the horizon for us um, to see it at this distance. So um, you're not going to be able to see it uh, right away when it launches. Um, typically, it's, it's about 30 seconds to a minute before um, you're able to see it. Um, and it'll be very visible too, depending on the weather. If the weather's clear, you're you're definitely going to know that it's that it's the rocket launching. Um, with the 802 launch window, um, this is going to be a very good time for viewing. So um, I do suggest getting your planning, get your location that you want to go to, and um, getting in position just in case though we get the break in the clouds tomorrow. I'm praying for some good weather, so hopefully that plays out well. So. Um, you can take this and manipulate whichever areas you're going to, you're going to be, and it'll kind of give you the general direction. Um, you can change it and put that anywhere you want. Um, what you can do is you can also zoom in and if you hold the control, if you hold the control on the PC or command on the Mac and you hold the left mouse button down, and you go left or right, you can rotate the map. And if you go up and down, you can change the elevation view that you want to see. So this will kind of help you when you're um, kind of zoning in on the location that you're kind of interested in looking from. Um, this is actually the reason I wanted to use this as an example is because this is um, the shot that I used on the last time that they had a launch that was an early morning um, I actually ended up down here and um, I'm gonna show you now the example from that so this basically this shot here is um, in the location that I've got marked on the map this is looking towards the uh, Wicked Tuna Crazy Sister Marina over here Veterans Pier extends out this way and as you can see here you've got the uh, the rocket launch here um, and actually right here you can actually see the uh, first stage rocket uh, falling back down to earth and it's got the glow on it um, so I was able to see all of that from this location if anybody's um, looking for ideas on where to be um, anywhere along the coastline that you've got a good open view with not a lot of obstructions um, you'll be able to see this very well and this um, this basically the lighting is going to be very similar for this um, 802 p.m. launch time tomorrow so the lighting conditions will be very similar to this so you're kind of going to get the same um, the same view the same effect but um, anyway I shot this with uh, let's see here uh, properties so I shot this with, I believe I used the 24 to 70. Um, it was a f2.8 lens. And this was a five second exposure at ISO 500. Um, the, let's see the other settings. Yep, so okay, so it was 24. The 24 to 70 f2.8, I had it at 24 millimeters. Um, ISO 500 for five second shutter and I did have this on a tripod um, if you're going to be shooting that long you're definitely going to want it on a tripod so that'll kind of give you an idea of um, how to achieve a similar shot um, as such like this um, with those settings this is kind of what I ended up with um, it's maybe a little bit bright for my taste but um, you take what you can get sometimes when you're shooting in the moment but um, those settings are kind of going to yield this effect here and um, if, if the uh, weather conditions are um, fair tomorrow and the clouds are going to hold um, or at least break um, hopefully we should be able to uh, to get a good view um, I'm going to assume that there may be a few more clouds than there was here um, even with this with a small break in the cloud um, still going to be probably a pretty good show um, so I, I like this area here because um, of all of the lights that are on the marsh walk it actually lights the foreground 
So I know it's last minute, but I hope that that little um, tutorial of information kind of helps everyone get their uh, plans together for um, maybe catching the view tomorrow if the, the shuttle does actually launch and they don't scrub it. If you have any questions, you guys are more than welcome to um, message me on Snyderman Photography, and I'll be glad to um, to help you out with anything that you guys might need to um, get a good view of this thing going on. So I'd like to wish everybody a happy shooting if you're going to actually get out and go and try and catch it uh, tomorrow night. Uh, let's all pray for good weather. Okay, so I know that's a lot to throw into a 10-minute video. Um, I'd like to go ahead and um, possibly do a longer tutorial and go a little bit more in-depth with this uh, method um, a little bit later. Um, but for now, um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me on the Facebook page at Snyderman Photography. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Snyderman Photography and also on Twitter at Snyderman Photos. Um, if you guys have any questions, reach out to me and I will be glad to um, either cover some of that in detail or um, maybe give you some tips on um, what you need to do to, um, to get out and see this. Um, if you guys are heading down to the inlet tomorrow night, it's very possible that you may see me there because I may just be heading that direction um, because I just think it's got a very good view from there. So um, anyhow, uh, so I'm going to wrap it up. And until next time, happy shooting, good luck with your shots, and I'll be looking forward to seeing everybody's shots tomorrow. Peace out. Love you guys. Have a good one. Till next time.